Good day dear students. This is our first video on topic 7 trigonometric functions. Let's look at our learning outcome. So your first learning outcome today is state trigonometric ratios of sine, cos, tangent, cosecant, secant and cotangent. Express tangent as sine over cos, sine 90 minus theta as cos, cos 90 minus theta as sine, tangent 90 minus theta as cotangent. Use some special angles. Find the angle of the trigonometric equation. Okay. So now first we are going to cover our first learning outcome. Okay. Let's say we are given a right angle triangle. Okay. From a right angle triangle, we must be able to state the sine of an angle. For example, theta given here. We must be able to, fi to find the sine, cos and tangent. So, using the formula, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so we have many ways to memorize this. Okay, and from this, we must be able to find cotangent, second and cosecant. Because cotangent is 1 over tangent. So if you know your tangent, you will be able to find cotangent. Okay, same goes for second and cosecant. Okay, now... Let's look at example 1. Okay, let's look at the question. If cotangent theta is 3 over 4 and theta is an acute angle, find tangent theta, sine theta, second theta and cosecant theta. Okay, so we are given here cotangent theta is 3 over 4. Okay. And theta is an acute angle. Okay, so this is an important information. Find tangent theta. Okay, so tangent is quite easy. We can get it from the formula. Tangent theta is 1 over cotangent. Since cotangent is given, then we can find tangent theta. If cotangent is 3 over 4, tangent theta would be 4 over 3. Okay. So, we have answered find tangent theta. Next, we need to find sine theta, second theta and cosecant theta. Okay, so this we will be able to get it from a right angle triangle. So, first draw your right angle triangle. Next, transfer the given information. Okay, let's say this is your theta. Okay. So, given that tangent theta is over 4 over 3, we know tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, we are going to transfer the given information into our triangle. From this, we know our hypotenuse is 5. This is using the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, next we are going to find the answer. So, we are going to start with sin theta. Okay, so sin theta equals to, we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite of your theta is 4, hypotenuse is 5. Okay, next we are going to find second theta. So, we need to know what is second theta. Second theta is 1 over cos theta. So, first we need to find our cos theta. Okay, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, this is your opposite. So, this is your adjacent. So, adjacent is 3, hypotenuse is 5. So, once we find cos theta, we will be able to find second theta. So, 1 over cos, 3 over 5, 1 over 3 over 5 will be giving us 5 over 3. So, that is the answer for second theta. Now, the last is Cosecant theta. So, we know cosecant theta is 1 over sin theta and you already have the answer for sin theta. Sin theta is 4 over 5. So, 1 over 4 over 5 
will be giving us 5 over 4. So, to answer example 1, it is important for you to draw the right angle triangle and transfer the given information so that you can find the other angles. Okay, now let us look at example 2. Given that tangent theta is 1 over square root of 7, find cosecant square minus second square divide by cosecant square plus second square. So, this is going to be something like the previous example. So, we are going to start with tangent theta is 1 over square root of 7. So, we are going to transfer this information into a right angle triangle. Okay. So, we know tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite of theta is over here 1 and the adjacent is over here square root of 7. Next you need to find your hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. So from Pythagoras theorem we will get hypotenuse as 2 square root of 2. Okay. So the next is to answer the given question. So in our given question they want us to find out cosecant square. So first we find out what is cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. So which means you need to find out your sine theta. Okay. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse 1 over 2 square root of 2. So we will be getting cosecant theta as 2 square root of 2. Okay. Next, we need to find second theta. Okay. We need to find second theta. We know second is 1 over cos. Okay. So, we first find cos theta. Cos theta is opposite adjacent over hypotenuse square root of 7 divide by 2 over square root of 2 okay now we need to find not cos actually we need to find second so since cos is square root 7 divide by 2 square root 2 second theta would be 2 square root 2 divide by square root 7 Okay, students, so the information that we need is actually cosecant square and second. So we already have cosecant and second. Okay. Next, we're gonna find the answer. Okay, so since the question is asking us cosecant square theta minus second square theta divide by cosecant square theta plus second square theta. So what we're going to do, we're going to take cosecant and we're going to square. Okay, so for example, cosecant is 2 square root of 2. So we're going to square this. So what happens when we square? So, 2 square is 4, 2 square is 4, and then square root 2 square is 2. So, this will give us 8. Okay, so cosecant square is 2 square, square root 2 square minus second is 2 square root 2 divided by square root 7 square. Now, the whole thing have to divide by 2 square root 2 square plus 2 square root 2 divide by square root 7 square. So, we already know 2 square root 2 square is 8 and this would be 8 divide by square root 7 square is 7 divide by 8 plus 8 over 7. Okay, students. Now, when you calculate this, you will be getting 3 over 4.
4. Okay, so I hope you are following. Now let's look at B. It's almost the same. Sine square. We know sine theta is 1 over 2 square root 2. So we're going to square this. Divide by 4 plus cos square. We know cos is square root 7 divide by 2 square root 2 square. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Okay. Now, we know 2 square root 2 square is 8. So this is going to be 1 over 8 divided by 4 plus 7 over 8. So if you calculate this, you will be getting 1 over 39. Okay, so I hope you can follow these two examples. Now, let's see what is our learning outcome that we have covered in our first video. We, now, everybody must be able to state the trigonometric ratio of sine, cos, tangent, cosecant, secant and cotangent. We will be covering the next learning outcome in our next video. That's all for today. Thank you students.